stage because quite clearly the stage belongs to these young people. Could I, just before I add my congratulations to this performance tonight, say a few words of thanks. Thank you for coming tonight to, for supporting us, for supporting our young people. To our sponsors, when we went and asked could we have some sponsorship to put this show on, we thought it was going to be a very hard sell. It wasn't. The contributions came flying in. Could I say that your investment, the finance that you've invested in terms of development of these young people's confidence, they've grown every night this week. They will grow again for tomorrow night. But the investment you've made in this community, it will be paid back 10,000 fold in the future. You're helping develop these young people. You're allowing us as a school to do what we want to do best, and that is let these people loose with their talent, and it, it's obvious to see. So thank you so much for that. there are students but they're not really the many primary schools represented here tonight you started these young people off on their journeys you've nurtured them developed them made our job actually very very easy so thank you for that and for our fellow post primary schools here in the town we've borrowed some of your best talent <laughs> my goodness how they complimented our boys so for all of you thank you so so much for your investment and this belongs to you as well, so thank you so much for that. <laughs> I've said in the previous nights this week that any school show is a real challenge. It may be something quite popular where you know the tunes to start with, but to take the title of Frankenstein with our own preconceptions of what that might look like before you come into the room here, and then to come to a performance and for these young people to hypnotize you in a way to bring you into their performance, into their 1795 to 98, into that world, using the lights, using the sound, but using their talent to bring you in. That's a massive challenge. And my goodness, how well they carried that off tonight. Folks, you were <laughs> I think I marked you at what, 8.9 the first night, 9.8 last night, 9.9? What do you think? Three nights, three standing ovations. Very hard to beat that unless you go for four for me, which I've no doubt you will do. But this, this doesn't happen by accident. To our two producers, directors, Caroline here, leading music and piano, and Paul there the back. <laughs> Our musicians who have grown and come from every night this week, it just blows out now. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> I think particularly our sound and lighting to turn this school hall into an amphitheatre. That doesn't happen easily. So brilliant. Well done. Thank you so, so much for your time. <laughs> and for our front of house and backstage, everybody's contributed in any way. Thank you so much. This college performance does not happen by accident. There are many, many people behind the scenes making this happen. So to everybody involved, thank you so much. <laughs> Tonight is a very, very special performance. Uh, before the cast took the stage tonight, we decided we would dedicate this performance to one of our students, a young man called Daniel Greer. Daniel, as you're aware, uh, was struck down by a very aggressive form of leukemia there just before the summer. At the moment, he's in Bristol, but he's not really, he's actually here with us tonight. <laughs> James, do you want to talk about a minute?
going to get James to introduce Daniel. Do you want to introduce okay. Daniel to us? You hear me all right? Yeah. All right. Daniel, say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. I really did. Thank you. I would say the good news is Daniel has had his transplant. It's going well. He's on the route to recovery. We bit to go yet. He's been keeping up to date. He's been in school every day. In fact, we had it at lunch. <laughs> He was actually out of sitting on a desk and talking to the boy beside him. That's just not happening. I would also say tonight, the first time he hasn't had a school tie on. <laughs> but I want to pay tribute to Daniel for the way in which he has overcome or is overcoming this obstacle. And Cass was very generous tonight in dedicating the performance to him. Our way of showing to him he has our full support. If you think when he struck down, the rest of us would just lie down and purr me and get on with it. What Daniel has done, he has, well, a few weeks before the summer, there's usually eight bone marrow transplants per week in Northern Ireland. Daniel didn't lie down. He started a campaign, campaign. you've seen, do it for Daniel. From eight per week, it went to eight per day. It kept going up and up. I think James, you stopped counting yeah. after a while. There are thousands of people who have now registered on the bone marrow transplant register as a result of Daniel and how he has approached it. We are proud to call him an Abbey man. We are so delighted he's here with us tonight. We were delighted to dedicate this performance to him. So Daniel, keep going. We have another performance in two years' time. And Daniel, by the way, two nights ago had a trumpet lesson. He <laughs> have not feeling well. He managed to have an online trumpet lesson. There's a spot here to lead the brass. We'll see you here in two years' time. Daniel, all the best. Good luck and keep working.